this is Sarah with Sarah Lee Crochet and Fabrics. Thanks to all of my new subscribers and of course all of the people that have been watching me. I am super excited today. It is Wednesday and Wednesday is the day I go to my refund warehouse where it's a big old warehouse where all items are returned from a bunch of different stores and these company buys them by bulk and they just throw them on the tables and they sell them different prices every day of the week. So when they first put everything on the table, that's really where the good stuff, the electronics and all of that, that's usually on Fridays and it starts off at $7. And then I believe like Saturday it goes to six and then five. Anyway, it goes down to Wednesday where it is 50 cents. So I went in today and I also went to Hobby Lobby Clarence Center. Um, so I have a bunch of little items that I bought today to show you. All right, so from the re refund warehouse, again, it, everything was 50 cents. So I got this brand new box of tea. It was perfectly sealed. Um, I have bought this brand before. Um, it's usually about $15 um, on Amazon. And it's also individually wrapped. Um, so that was the main reason I bought it at this location. And the box also was sealed. Um, it is cookies and cream. It's roasted cocoa blended with cookies and cream. I've never had cookies and cream tea before. I've tried some of the other teas they have and it was delicious. But that was something I kind of geared away from. But I figured I'd try it for 50 cents. And then also paper towels. It's a big huge deal of bright yellow paper towels. I don't care what color my paper towels are. Um, I usually buy these if I think they're worth it. And these towels are really, really thick. And um, they are really, really thick. Like they feel like fabric. And they're really, really big. I mean, yeah, they are really, really thick. So they almost feel kind of like the vehicle um, paper towels that you buy at the um, auto supply store. So it's a bunch of these. So I'm really happy about that. And then I got this. I do own a Cricut machine, but I have never um, done anything of this sort. Matter of fact, I haven't used my Cricut. It's an older model Cricut. I think it's one of the originals. Um, so I haven't used it in a while, but it says it's vinyl sheets. And it's called it's called Rainbow Vinyl. It's a 10-pack. So I bought that for 50 cents. Maybe I'll just give that away. I'm not sure. Let me know. If you like it, pay for the shipping and I'll send it to you because I don't know why I bought it. I doubt I'll be using that. Um, so I have nieces and nephews. Um, nephew is four years old and niece is year and a half. So I've just been gathering coloring books, especially for my nephew. Um, my niece is just starting to do her letters and stuff like that. So I bought some coloring books because now, I mean, even with the Dollar Tree uh, coloring books, they're $1.25. So I bought this one, which is the Minecraft 3 in 1 coloring book. And they're pretty not I thought they were gonna be complicated because I guess I associate I don't know much about Minecraft but I thought it was for you know older kiddos but they're pretty simple or they can save it for him if they feel it may be too advanced but yeah so I bought that for the 50 cents and then um, these locations always have um, like books for kids and it seems like I guess because Amazon you a lot of new writers can write books so I usually buy books there and I always read it of course to make sure <laughs> it's appropriate even though it looks like it but this particular book is Matsun Craze it's um, about sharing so it's a pretty cute book I really like the cover so of course I'm going to give that a quick read and yeah it's just a lot of good illustration about sharing um, lunch and all kinds of stuff and also how to say no and if you don't want to share <laughs> so i can't wait to read that it looks pretty interesting and then also i um, got this one which is handwritten books for kids you can kind of see that yeah and it just says about like the letter it's just about letters and learning how to write your letters so i think my nephew um is right at that age so i think he will like that and then also i got this one which is about healthy food coloring book and it's just, of course, have all the different foods and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty cool to teach them about what color goes with what. So I would get those all boxed up and that'll be part of Christmas. So another thing I got that I do not need, 
I just thought it was super cute. It is a swim life jacket for a small dog. It was brand new in the bo in the bag and it's saying extra small and it's really cute. But this would probably fit like a small Chihuahua. Um, I know my niece has a dog, but that dog don't like water, so it's not gonna be something that um, she would want. I'll ask her. But if anybody wants this, pay for the shipping and I'll send it to you. Okay, so next thing I got was these. You won't be able to see it because I haven't put any of them together. But what it is, is they are 16 boxes that you can fold. Um, they're actually made for uh, macaroons, the dessert. So it's really cute. You can fold it together. And I think it holds like 10 macaroons. But I'm not going to use it for that. I think what I'm going to use it for is to put like the miniature um, chocolate nuggets or whatever in those. And give those kind of like Christmas um, little stocking stuffers, you know, stuff like that. So that was the purpose of me getting these. They're really cute. It's a good size. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to use those for. Alright, and this was just a try. I bought two of these. Unfortunately, the wrapping was a little ripped. <laughs> but let me show you. Again, it's a paper towel. It's reusable bamboo paper towels. So, yeah. It says it can be machine washed many, many times. So this just go along with what I'm trying to do anyway, where it is lower my... Um, footprint as far as with using paper towels and uh, using plastic bottles i still use it but i want to really lower it so when i saw these i actually bought two of them um i thought this was right up my alley of what i wanted to do um so i will give it a try um yeah i don't see where it says i don't see where it says how many they have on here but it's just a, it's a relatively small roll so yeah it's called ban bow <laughs> B-A-M-B-A-W. So, yeah, I will be trying that. I'll see what's going on with it. But I figured 50 cents, it was definitely worth the try. So I also then went to Hobby Lobby Clarence Warehouse where I got a couple of things. Um, just got a red thread because I didn't... The red thread I had was a real cheaper dollar store kind of thread and I wanted something more sturdy. They happened to have this at the Hobby Lobby Clarence Warehouse. It was $2.00. So I went ahead and got that. It's like 1,200 yards. So I got that because I'm going to be doing some Christmas projects and stuff like that. And then I also got this for $2.50. It is a half a yard of a stretch fabric. And I do love my stretch fabrics, especially for um, headbands. I can also, I sometimes use these when I'm making um, menstrual pads reusable. So I thought that would be pretty cute for that. But yeah, I love using these for headbands. So it was $2.50 for the half a yard. I hadn't seen this print at regular Hobby Lobby before. So I thought it was pretty cute. I kind of grabbed that. But if you can see, it's the teddy bears. Some of them are holding, I think, like a skateboard there. But it's like all different kinds of teddy bears. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. So I got that. And then for yarn, these were $2 each. They're different, but close enough. If you see, you can see how different they are there. But the um, base colors are close enough. They didn't have any two of each, so I just got the one. And these have standard, I believe they're like 255 yards, four weight acrylic. So yeah, I will see what I can make with that, or it will end up in the stash like most yarn. And then I also went to my regular Hobby Lobby because I'm still working on my crochet project for my sweater or cardigan. And um, I have been doing a lot of my, let me see, can you see it? Is it right there? My stack of um, granny squares, I have about 35 right now. So I've just been working them wherever I go. So I needed more of the main yarn that I'm using. So I got some of those. And then I see I got, okay, so one store I went to, they only had one of the, this yarn, which is called Instant Classic, but I didn't want to just buy one yarn when I went there, so I got this other one. You see the difference? This is the one I needed, and this is the one I bought. This is called, what is this called? Shocking Violet. So I got that because I thought it was cute. And I also wanted to make um, mermaid tails with these. I thought it would be cute, pretty cute. So yeah. And then I went to... What is it called? Kohl's. Kohl's clearance. I didn't get much there. I just got these earrings. I actually had a gift card or I probably wouldn't have 
gotten these for five dollars but mine Kohl's used to be really really good but it's gone down I mean everything was empty the shelves was empty I don't know what's going on so I went ahead and got that and then I also got um, some Vitafusion um, vitamins I use these anyway so I was just really looking for something to buy and these were within the expiration date and I had a gift card so and the Kohl's is a little far away so I didn't want to waste time going to another Kohl's I just wanted to use the gift card so those were the two items I bought so that is all I will do a, another video today that will show items I have worked on completed items so you can see where I am in different projects but thank you so much for watching I will talk to you guys later have a great day bye